Hey YouTube, I'm back once again and I've got a few pickups to show you. Um, a couple of days late, or a couple of days later than I anticipated. Um, I was waiting for one last thing to arrive. Um, and Amazon stated it wasn't going to come until today. Um, as it turned out, it arrived yesterday uh, when I got in from work. Late last night it was sat on the uh, on the mat for me, but uh, at that point it was too late to, to record this. Um, so yeah, I've just got a few things here to show you. Um, I'll start off with uh, something that you've probably already seen if you watched uh, my unboxing video last week. Um, I got this from CX. I still had some vouchers left over. Um, so this is the uh, the Blue Man Group. Um, how to be a megastar. Um, even with postage, uh, this was less than four pounds. Um, I didn't know this existed until maybe a couple of months ago. Uh, I saw it on Blu-ray Bullet Brits uh, Blu-ray collection. Um, he showed this and uh, I was quite surprised that it even existed. Um, I've been aware of the Blue Men for probably over 20 years or around about 20 years. They used to do adverts on telly for uh, Intel Pentium computers and at that time actually I thought they'd been created specifically for doing those adverts but apparently that's not the case they'd been around for quite a few years before that um, and I've seen odd clips on YouTube more recently um, so yeah when I saw this I immediately went on to well not when I saw this when I saw that video I immediately went on to uh, Amazon and eBay and I think the cheapest one was about 10 quid and on Amazon there were well over 20 There is also a DVD of a different concert. This is a live concert Which um, After I watched this when I did that unboxing video um, It was a bit confusing If you remember Because it actually says on the disc there DVD How to be a Megastar Live DVD it clearly has a Blu-ray symbol, but then it has a Region 1. Um, according to this, it's Region 1, which is not a Blu-ray region, it's a DVD region. And again on the back it says Region 1. So once I finish recording that video, I pop this in just to one, to check that it was a Blu-ray, and two, to see if it would play on a, on a uh, Region B Blu-ray player, and it did. It is a Blu-ray, and it played no problem um, and I actually sat and watched the entire thing <laughs> I did intend just on checking the disc but it, it, it just sucked me in so quickly um, and an hour and a half later yeah I got on to uh, CEX um, and ordered the the other live show the DVD um, I can't remember what it was called uh, and the very next day I got an email saying that they cancelled the order even though they've got what, about half a dozen in stock in various stores um, so I reordered it again uh, and again they cancelled the order and over the last week I've ordered it three times and three times they keep cancelling the order I don't know why because they've got it in stock but there you go um, this didn't come in this case and although it, it didn't look right at the time I never clocked it it was in completely the wrong case and it was in this which is a uh, I guess a Criterion style case um, I know 88 films use these sometimes as do 101 films but I've never ever seen a blue one usually the white um, occasionally 101 films put them in red cases but I've never seen a blue one but it, 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 it just didn't look right at the time and it didn't clock until after I'd finished the video and I was pulling the disc out and I looked, I thought, oh, it's one of those. Yeah, so it's a weird, weird old case. Uh, then, going back a little bit further on my birthday, um, my sister sent me this. Um, I told her that it was this specifically I wanted it and she had it delivered straight here rather than uh, um, having to come round and, and drop it off. Um, so I got the Arrow limited edition of Robocop, which this is uh, 
still in print, which I was quite surprised because um, normally these things go uh, go out of print pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I watched it on the day on my birthday and absolutely loved it. It's been a while since I've seen this. It looks great as well. I watched the um, the extended or director's cut. Um, and to be honest, I'll have to go back and watch the theatrical version because there was nothing in there that I noticed that I hadn't seen before. But like I say, it's been a while. It's a nice little release, this. It's the usual fare from Arrow. You get uh, some um, art cards in there. Uh, it's a, a two disc edition. You got theatrical and director's cut, which with those cards, it's just a little bit tight to close. And then you've got a poster, which is uh, pretty much that image. And then on the other side, you've got the, what is the original theatrical poster. And I imagine the old VHS cassette had the same um, image as well or something similar. So that's on the other side of this. I'm not going to open it all the way out. There you can see that. Uh, and then you've got this spanking great book, which I haven't really looked through yet. So there's lots of stuff in there as well. So yeah, nice, nice release from Arrow. So I'm very happy to have got that. Uh, and then I mentioned in a previous video that uh, I was waiting, my brother had, had texted me saying that uh, what he'd ordered hadn't arrived um, and it actually didn't get here until uh, till the weekend and he popped over on Saturday with it for me um, and I haven't got around to watching this yet um, but it's something I've been looking forward to seeing for quite some time. Um, and strangely enough, it's in a steelbook, which I don't get steelbooks much these days. Um, this is Chernobyl, the TV series. Um, I know almost nothing about this apart from who's in it. And obviously there's, there's stuff that you know about Chernobyl over the years since since it happened. Um, and I'm guessing it's based loosely on, on the disaster. Uh, but yeah. I've I've heard nothing but good things about that. Uh, and this we saw again in my unboxing uh, last week. Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. This been the uh, Zavi exclusive 3D steelbook, which is still sealed. Um, and I had. Um, I had reservations about this this artwork um, from from when it's when when I ordered it the artwork hadn't been released and then when they showed this I'm like really and yeah I'm still not sure um, but I said there was similar artwork on the standard Blu-ray releases um, and I think that looked quite a bit nicer and yeah I, I stand by that because out of some of the money I got with me uh, vouchers for my birthday I yeah uh, I got both of these so we've got the resistance and the first order sleeves um, it's difficult to see in these inside these plastic uh, so we slip them out but these are more of a matte finish which I think is gorgeous, and then the the the, the two characters are, are obviously glossy, as is the uh, actually is this the Star Wars logo. Yeah, it is quite glossy. It's uh, embossed, and then you've just got the standard um, artwork in there for both. Exactly the same inside, with the, with the exception of the barcodes. They've got the both got the their own individual. Barcodes on the back, which is great for cataloging them in the uh, in the app, because that goes by the barcodes. But I I already had these pre-ordered from months and months and months ago. Um, but when I got the vouchers for my birthday, I just used those vouchers to uh, 
to add to this order so it actually pays for these rather than the money coming out of my account um, and then apparently I also got the standard 3d edition once again I've put it in one of these plastic sleeves um, the one thing I was disappointed about I have to say was uh, the lack of different artwork between the 2d and the 3d with all the other previous Star Wars releases with I think Solo being the exception um, I mean The Last Jedi, uh, Rogue One, Force Awakens have all got different art between the 2d and the 3d releases but they didn't do it this time but it doesn't really matter because we've got these nice sleeves so yeah um, these I think look fantastic again I did have slight reservations when I first saw these um, but they've grown on me even before I bought them but seeing them in the flesh as it were uh, yeah I really I really like them and the fact that they, uh, they fit together to make one big picture it's great I like that and then finally the the one thing that I was waiting for that I ordered off Amazon last week um, Again, out of my uh, out of my vouchers, uh, this is Retroaction Volume Three from uh, from Network. Um, it was only two ninety nine, um, and it's just a bunch of uh, single episodes from various classic um, TV sci fi, mostly sci fi series. Shirley's World. I don't really know what that is. The Invisible Man. I used to watch as a kid. Um, I don't think I ever saw The Adventures of Robin Hood. Again, The Baron, I don't really know. But The Saint, I used to love The Saint. Um, I've seen odd episodes of Danger Man. But honestly, I can't remember anything about it. And I've heard of The Zoo Gang, but again, it's something that I've never seen. Um, but yeah, it was 2 99 I couldn't pass that up. Um, had CEX been open, um, I'd have probably got another one of these. Because they're trading in at the minute at uh, £5. Um, but there's no stores open so I can't take one in and I've got nothing else to send to them because you can send um, stuff into them and they, they'll either put money in your account or send you a uh, email you a, um, a voucher um, but I've got nothing else to send so I thought there's probably little point if for some reason CXs do open in the near future and these are still cheap then I'll probably get another one then but uh, for now um, I thought, I, could, I mean, I could have still got one and just hold on to it, but you just never know. By the time CX reopens, the price could have tanked. Um, and just for that extra couple of quid, you know, it's worth it if you can take it in more or less straight away and there's something in store you want to get, but uh, that's not the case at the moment. So there we go, just a few uh, bits and bobs over the last... What, a week and a bit, I guess? Um, I know it's been a few weeks since my last pickups. Um, but uh, these have all been literally over the last week and a half, I guess, since my birthday. That's That, that one I got for my birthday, and the rest have arrived since then. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it. Uh, oh, yeah, one, one thing about... Uh, Lockdown top 10. Um, one of the things that was supposed to happen this weekend is uh, one of my L's, which I definitely want to put in the um, the JK and L top 10. Um, I lent to my brother last year and I actually mentioned it to him and he was supposed to bring it around and still hasn't got here, which is, I mean, he's busy, you know, it's fair enough. Um, so I, I didn't do that video on Sunday hoping that that was going to turn up um, I'm probably going to do that on Friday now regardless of whether I get it or not I'll text him again and see if he can bring it around if not um, that video will go ahead on Friday and hopefully be uploaded on Friday and then fingers crossed we're back to normal for this Sunday for uh, what will be after that M, M, N and O be the next one so I haven't forgotten about that. Um, I just uh, didn't do it because there was something missing. Um, but if, if that doesn't turn up, then 
I'll just carry on without it. Um, I did record a VCD collection video on Sunday, but honestly, I wasn't really happy with it, so I haven't uploaded it. Um, I may well give it another go sometime this week, see how it comes out. Yeah, so for now, um, as far as pickups is concerned, I have no plans of anything else this month. Um, it's very unlikely that the uh, charity shops or the uh, certainly I don't think I don't think we're going to see a car book sale at all this year. But I don't think the charity shops and CX and of the like will be open for the next few weeks. Um, so I don't envision me buying any uh, any more Blu-rays or DVDs or anything like that over the next uh, like I say over the next few weeks. So I don't know when the next pickup video will be. Um, but we'll see what else we can do over that time. Obviously we're doing these lockdown top tens at the moment. Um, I really wanted to do that VCD collection but it just didn't turn out. So we'll maybe try again like I say. Anyway, I'm rambling too much so I'm going to leave you now. Uh, and thanks very much for watching and I will catch you next time. Turn out.